Good afternoon, it's uh, Mel from Integral Blinds. Um, having just delivered the second stage of a large Integral Blinds project we're doing for a healthcare construction project here in the southwest of Ireland, I get an opportunity to do, to be honest with you, if I could take my business hat off and put it to one side, do what I really, really like doing, and that's to be out in a place like this with my bike, do some pair of walking boots, uh, hiking. This is the Killarney National Park. Uh, it's about 9,000, uh, sorry, 900 square kilometres of park. Uh, it was the first national park created in uh, the Irish Free State back in, I think it was 1932. Uh, it was a gift uh, to the Irish state uh, by a chap called, I think, William Burroughs Bourne, a US industrialist, made his money in mining and selling water to the people of San Francisco. Uh, well, certainly a lot of water around here, but I don't think it was a commercial uh, interest for him. It was something uh, he did because he liked the area. Anyway, it's now a national park, and where I'm from now is I'm going through an area called the Gap of Dunlow. It's a huge mountain pass, um, quite deep. It goes all the way to the Dingle uh, uh, Peninsula and out to the Atlantic Ocean. All the waters that flow from the River Lawn, from say Kilorgan or Killarney, uh, out to the Bay of uh, the uh, Dingle uh, Peninsula and the uh, bay there. As you see there, that's the pass there where we're going. It's a big hike. Normally I'm found hiking in, say, the Wasdale Valley or Newlands Valley in Cumbria. But uh, they really, uh, if you're into hiking, uh, as I am, as well as photography, um, those areas have nothing compared to this. Uh, it's right in the Gulf Stream, for one thing, which means it's a milder, warmer, moister temperature than, say, Cumbria. Uh, it's equivalent to Cornwall, but it's like Cornwall with, with mountains. These mountains rarely ever get snow on the peaks. Um, but it is an attractive place. Lots of windy, windy hairpin roads around here. I think they filmed part of the Italian job on it, from what I'm told by one of the locals. Um, but I'm about to get on my bike now and cycle down this hill. Just hope I don't come off. I tend to um, hike uh, up the hills with my bike for support and then cycle down them. So really 50% is downhill and 50% is uphill. Uh, it's a beautiful um, area to uh, do anything in. And we, and we really love doing jobs in the Irish Republic, especially in the South. Um, the project there is fire rated, uh, big heavy glass panels for a, Huge uh, hospital project, got some great photos of it, uh, delivered on time, on spec, customers are delighted, main contractors and stakeholders in the project all delighted and consequently we're looking forward to coming back here for more orders. Um, yeah, this is a nice cycle ride, there's really no traffic around here, only traffic in and out is people who live in the valley, fortunate enough to live in the valley, uh, they call this area the Black Valley. Uh, some homes up there for example, but um, sheep farming down there really, lots of sheep. I met six sheep going the other way about 10 minutes ago actually, who uh, very uh, nervously uh, steered a wide course path me, past me. Uh, but yeah, this is a this is a really good uh, uh, trip. This is for me. I don't get much chance to take holiday. Usually, found 
behind my desk answering the phones, taking inquiries from across the UK for Integral Blinds and Integral Blind projects. Take a look at our YouTube channel and our Facebook page, you see all the other places we go, apart from the very scenic ones like here. Um, anyway, I'm going to um, crack on now and, um, and do uh, see if I can get uh, through the gap of Dunlow today as far as the Dingle uh, Peninsula. Speak to you again. Bye.